All right, here's me here. So we've ridden 8.6 miles. That leads me to believe the light bee probably would have made it here. Probably not up and down the mountain though. There's some ice, there's some snow here, but not a lot. All right, the rest is pretty easy. Yeah, that was the toughest part right there. Now we start going down. Now Hades Omega has no jacket <laughs> to keep him cool, to keep him warm. So we're gonna take this all the way to uh, to Red Rock Canyon. Still a little bit of ways to go. I'm pretty sure the light bee will make it. I think for the light bee, eight point something miles. Hmm. I'm not sure. I would I would definitely check to see if you got enough rain, uh, enough of state of charge left. Oh man, it's snowy up here. It's okay. It's okay. I can handle it. Oh, somebody's been walking here. I guess people hike up up to here. All right, here we go. All right, continue on the way. Hopefully the snow is not too slippery. If I remember, it, well, it, it just goes down a whole lot at the other end, so all this snow and stuff is going to disappear, trust me. So I did see some footsteps, so watch out for hikers, people riding motorcycles. I see motorcycle tracks here. From here on out, it's, it's not that hard. It's pretty, it's pretty tame. It's, it's really twisty though, so great for this bike. There's a great viewpoint up here. Right here, right here, right here. There's a really nice viewpoint up here. Right here. Oh yeah, perfect dude. This is the best shot in the house right here. Alright, here's the all right, so this is the summit, 9.42 miles. Would the light bee have made it? I think the light bee might have made it, yeah. Yeah, I think the light bee could have made this because really it was it was just really slow trails and I think the light bee doesn't really eat up a lot of electricity if you're just, you know, not going very fast. <laughs> just trying to do a pivot turn. <laughs> Yeah, the bike is running like shit, man. The, the good thing about the light bee is not affected by elevation, so be no problem. All right, we're just gonna head down this to the other end. Um, here, here I would not ride the light bee down here because um, it's gonna run out of power going back up the hill. So I think this is as far as I would have taken the light bee. But uh, we can take the KLX down here. Let's do it. bunch of switchbacks. Alright, watch out for traffic, man. Don't be bombing up the trail too much. Then again, the light bee would probably get some power going down this if we regen down it. But probably I would just roll down it, you know. Oh, wait, it's cold. I wish I didn't burn my jacket. <laughs> I will take a picture of my jacket and show you guys what it looks like at the end of the video.
Yeah, it's definitely some Jeep Trail stuff right here, man. Hazemaker loves riding Jeep Trails, you know? I find it challenging, you know? I do find it challenging. There's some stuff Jeeps do better, you know? And then there's some stuff motor dirt bikes do better. I could blaze past Jeeps on this trail, dude. Just roll down the hill. So we were at 6,000 feet, or 64 or something. There's 6,100 here. The important thing is keep the keep the engine revving, man. Don't let a don't let it foul the plug. I could feel it. I could hear it. I could smell it fouling the plug down that thing. So this is helping us clean the plugs out right here. Oh, good view right here. Yeah, this is actually really fun on a dirt bike. I highly suggest you ride a dirt bike up here. <laughs> it was easy. Compared to the DR, dude, I had such a hard time. But during lab to v you're riding with a bunch of other riders trying to get through this canyon. So there's a lot of people stuck in the canyon and it makes it hard. You lose, you know, you you lose uh, choices, you know, cho different paths you could have taken. That's what I'm gonna say. Really rocky still, but not as rocky. Okay, yeah, that was like the best view up there. So yeah, hey, definitely take your camera along, man. It's beautiful out here. If you're in the Las Vegas area, man, check this place out. Remember, we got to go back up this. <laughs> really rocky here. Yeah, just ride on the rocks, Merlin. <laughs> no whiskey throttles, man. <laughs> Slow down, man. I can feel the bike, it's got more power now. <laughs>
maybe you wouldn't be eating a whole lot of gas going down this, isn't sure. Two ways, two ways. Let's go this way. Let's keep it in second gear and just roll on down. I forgot about this. I don't remember doing this. <laughs> Still a long way. Don't worry, Libby ha uh, KLX has 50 miles of range. There's a truck right here. I think that's it. <laughs> We're at the bottom already. Come on, KLX, hang in there. Still have to go back. Now you can do some scrambler action. Notice the, the soil has changed color. It's a red color now. Oh, it's getting a lot warmer too. I like it. <laughs> oh, there's people hiking. Oh, here's a Jeep. See it to the right. Okay, I'll go to the left. <laughs> Almost at the bottom, almost. So Jeeps have to go through that nasty stuff, man, and they got to go through more stuff than the bike, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, we're almost there, dude. We're literally there already. Take it easy, there's going to be more people on this side, that's for sure. I knew it, a lighter bike would be much easier riding through this can dude. It was so exhausting, but also you got to think, Hey, you just did LAB to V, man. You're really tired. You've been riding hundreds of miles through the desert, and uh, you have to ride through this hard shit <laughs> at the very end, you know? Oh, here we go. We're in the Red Rocks now. All right, we're in the Red Rock section now. About 12 miles 
I would have turned the light be around by now for sure. Mike's got so much more power over here. <laughs> okay, watch out for traffic, man. Uh, I didn't just think I have to do it all over. I have to do it over again, but the other direction. <laughs> But this time we get to go down the rocks. Yeah, I think we're going down the rocks as opposed to up the rocks. But some of them, there were some pretty rocky sections on the way down here. So. There it is. That's the, that's the end of it. Shinko cheater tires are great here, man. The cheater tires work great here. Oh, it's so much warmer on this side, dude. We're 4,800 feet. Went all the way down from like 6,500 or something. This is it, the bottom. Uh, I guess until I get to the pavement, then we'll turn around. How about that? That's a fun ride, I like that. It's challenging. But yeah, you definitely want a dirt bike. <laughs> or something dirt, dual, or a lightweight dual sport. Ooh, it just smells like just gasoline, dude. Okay. Just gonna roll on down here. Oh my, it's rocky. So there's there's a lot of traffic here, so let's just slow down a lot. <laughs> Wheelie. Alright, and this is it. So I'm just gonna kinda ride to the parking lot and then that's it. And we're gonna head on back. And I'm not gonna take any picture pictures on the way back, okay? It'll be a straight shot back. I don't got any water. I hope there's water down here. Let me <laughs> hopefully there's a water fountain or something. I heard people use uh, ride a electric or electric mountain bikes through that canyon, so maybe that might be something I want to try. Ride an electric mountain bike through the canyon. I I think it would be okay. So I'm just gonna ride this to where the pavement is, and then that's it. But yeah, you're, we're in Red Rock Canyon right now. So this is Red Rock Canyon State Park or National Park? Is it National Park? That's a good question. Though. Big truck trying to get through here. That's it, we made it! <laughs> this is the end of the line here, 14 miles, so I don't think the light view would have made it. Maybe it might have made it. It depends. Twenty usually it's twenty miles, and it runs out of juice. So
All right, man. I hope I hope there's some water around here somewhere, man. <laughs> Could use some water. Or I'll just park it in the parking lot. Street cars. <laughs> made it 14 miles 14.2 miles i think it took us an hour and almost two hours to get here we'll probably be faster on the way back i won't take as many pictures uh, we're at 4500 feet i think the highest was, was 6500 feet and it kind of goes down to 5000 it's definitely war it's definitely warmer on this side of the mountain that's for sure <laughs> all right hopefully there's a water fountain here man i need to drink a lot of water because i did not bring any water with me all right we made it yes, we got it.